there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another couch video. My philosophy is about being a thorough man. And I wanted to be clear about that because, you know, a lot of people, you know, they know me for a body game. They know me for select and non-select. But let me get into that real quick. Anybody who's actually read my books, Nice Guys and Players and Sexual Chemistry, and especially nice guys and players mean that's not something the whole select non select thing is more of a diagnostic tool to see where you stand because the goal is to actually go beyond that. Now, my inner circle, I'll say the superior man, you know, because if you follow, uh, if you're familiar with uh, Taoist teachings, you know. Humanity is divided into like uh, three levels, the inferior man, the superior man, and then the sage, right? So my whole philosophy is about getting to that second level, superior man, or people familiar with all saw set, man up, um, whatever that second level is. And in my book, Nice Guys and Players, you know, I use the term the real man. You know, that's the level beyond even Mr. Goodbar, because Mr. Goodbar still got some stuff to work on, you know, even though he's select. The masked man, even though he's select, you know, he got to learn how to take that mask off. It's about being that authentic man, right? So if we use more of a, a street vernacular, it was called thorough. See, when I was coming up, right? We, you know, people didn't talk about like, well, do this and say this and all this stuff we got now. It was about being thorough. What was a thorough man? That thorough man was that man who was hitting on all cylinders. Like coming up, right? A man had to be able to talk to women, be good at some sport, be able to throw hands, and do well in school, academic, you know, get up there, get that job and everything, make that money and everything. It wasn't a situation where you were just a plaything for a woman, but wasn't making money or making money, but couldn't knock that woman out. It was about being thorough. Now, I, I promoted, you know, that was just a cultural thing, particularly in the D.C. area. Some people told me they say the same thing in Philly. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just about being thorough on those other things. In fact, I got to shout out Tariq Nasheed. When he wrote his books on Mackin and everything, he used the term urban renaissance man. That urban renaissance man was that man who he could be that player, you know, turn the women out, all of that. Be that uh, professional, make that good money. Had just a little bit of pushover. I know some people got some problems, but at the right moments, like if you got a woman, she treat you nice and stuff, ain't no wrong getting her flowers or something like that. Just keeping it under control and also being that parolee. If you got to be that straight thug about some shit, right? And that's always been my philosophy. It wasn't just being stuck in one area or something. Because one of the things I'm seeing, people are becoming too stuck, you know. They think, well, I'm intelligent, so I can't be physical. Or they think just because that person's physical, they can't be intelligent. That's stupid as shit. You can be both. Who says you can't be both? Now, on the uh, car, um, car, I need to do something. But the uh, couch video I did yesterday, I said most select men are well paid. And let me be clear, because someone, and you know, we had a disagreement, we talked it out. But was thinking I'm just talking about athletes and stuff. But if you look in any community, oh, and that's another thing too. When I talk about select, non-select, even though many in this section say thing I'm just focused on the black community, if you read my books, I don't focus it just on one community. My books have sold all over the world. I got guys in Australia. I had a whole group in Australia following my stuff. India, Asia, China. Russia, Eastern Europe, shoot, a whole lot of Irish dudes follow my stuff. So it was, look, that's not limited to one, just to be clear, right? Just to be clear. But if you really look at, um, getting back to what I was saying yesterday, 
you know, when I'm saying most uh, select men are making money, that's because they thorough. You look, just because you look a certain way and you hit your body or something, or you got a smooth rap, don't mean you can't make money too. In fact, if we're going to get deep, that's part of sex transmutation, which was talked about in Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. But if you really look at it, like uh, I've known several attorneys, you know, when I was in school at American University, right, there were law students there, right? There were law students. They come in the gym. They be throwing up all the weight, dominating in sports. And then when they graduated, because, you know, kept up with several of them, they were making big money. I mean, think about it. You had guys who could go in, throw up 300 to 400 pounds, go play a sport, dominate. <laughs> the rosters they had was crazy. Right? And still made money, still very intelligent. You know? Because you talking you talking anybody anybody going to grad school, come on. These dudes were straight thorough. And you know, and think about it. I've also talked about the house of the man on here. The house of the man, that's multifaceted. That's that man who can protect. That's that man who can think. Use that logic and think that man who can go out there and in, the, in a cold-blooded manner make some money. And that man who can knock that woman out the damn box. And see, the house of the man, that was actually in indigenous cultures that had uh, rites of passage. The boys would actually be taught on multiple levels. If you look at indigenous cultures, they actually made sure that the young boys became men. They knew how to build. They knew how to hunt. They were actually taught how to make love. And, you know, that's always been my philosophy. That's always been my philosophy. How come you can't be it? Because that was normal. Growing up in Southeast D.C. and then Northeast D.C. for people from D.C., Anacostia, North Michigan Park, Riggs, you know. Then used to roll through Brookland and other areas. Shoot, Montana. Yeah, if you anybody from D.C., at least back in the day, they probably gentrified Montana now, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, Kenilworth Parkside back when it was, uh, before they gentrified it, you shoot, you had to be thorough, you had to be on all those levels and shoot, the women wouldn't even give you, the women look at you straight up, they'd be like, all right, this dude look like he can make some money, all right, boom, he fine, boom, he look like he can play some type of ball, boom, look like he can throw hands, fine, you know, Especially had to have that rap. That's what we call it, what people now call a mouthpiece. But that's always been my thing. And see, it's not even like a trick you got to do, put on a mask. It's a state of being. Because trust me, when you go out there and it's bigger actually than getting women, because the way life is, you got to have multiple, you got to have a multiple, a multiple skill set to really succeed. Just life in general. Now, I know the main, look, let's be real. The main theme of this particular channel is man gets women. But if you look at it, you develop yourself all the way around. What you do is develop yourself into the type that's magnetic to women. When they see that guy who can hit on all those cylinders, you don't really have to do much. You can sit down and chill. You can go get your buffalo wings. Go in the corner of a restaurant or some shit. You can go in a takeout joint, get your buffalo wings, sit there, and some women gonna be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> That's because you just thorough on all those levels. That's the key thing. And we need that mindset. See, I'm gonna tell you what. Of course, there's always conversations about this whole select, non-select thing. And I even did a video where I said, so I said people shouldn't be uh embracing that non-select thing. That's stupid as shit. Yeah, I said it. Anybody got a problem with it? You know what? Don't do a video. Come meet, look me in the eye. And I'll tell you to your face. And I'm serious. That's how serious I am. It's a diagnostic too. No man should accept less. Every single man should be rising to be the best version of himself. Real talk. He should be hitting on all cylinders. No excuses. Seriously. Like I said... Don't do a video on it. Arrange it. We can look you look me in the eye and say it. Embracing that dumb shit. That's a diagnostic tool. If you find out you're right there, okay. I gave you the means in my books. Multiple books, multiple videos, how to rise up. 
and every man should be rising up. If there's an area you're deficient in, that's where you work at. If there's an area you're great in, okay, great, make it even better. Like every single man should be on all levels. And this is, you know what? I'm going to tell you what. I know there's a lot of guys who complain about what women this and women that. I'm going to tell you something I said on my women's, and I told the women this on my channel. It's not unreasonable to have a guy who at least got his own spot. It's not unreasonable to have a guy that has maybe a vehicle or something if he's in a place he needs a vehicle. It's not unreasonable that a guy has a full-time job. Like every man should be on some damn mission. I got a podcast coming this weekend talking about that. You know, talking about the mission. You know, other coaches might or some might call it a purpose. Nothing wrong with that. You should be multifaceted. You know, don't be like, oh, whoa, it's me. I'm like this. The women ignore me. This and that. Everything's like, man, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Nah, every, every single moment should be trying to raise yourself up to mastery. At least mastering yourself. You know, I was, you know, it's funny. I know I'm getting a little hot with this, but nah, it has to be said. Cause like, that's one thing. And look, this is going off on a tangent. Fuck it. I can't stand when people embrace mediocrity. I can't stand that shit. They got zero tolerance for it. Cause I done been through some shit in life. I've been through some shit I ain't going to talk about. And probably more shit than a lot of motherfuckers have been through. But I ain't embraced that shit, say, whoa, it's me. Yeah, I've been thrown in some holes. I ain't cry and say I've been in a hole or anything. Or I reach out to the person who threw me in the hole. I looked up at them and said, you know, you probably should start running now because I'm going to climb up and break my foot off of your motherfucking ass. And that's both metaphorically and, well, in some cases for real. And I ain't trying to, and I'm just saying that as a man, it's nothing wrong. You can be multifaceted. Who says you can? Who says you can't be an intelligent person, a very intelligent person, an intellectual, but if necessary, still go to somebody's jaw if they fuck with you the wrong way? Who says you can't be that man who's making a whole lot of money? But then that woman only deals with you because you would turn her the fuck out. Who says a man has all of that in it? When I talk, whether you talk, whether you call it being a thorough man, an urban renaissance man, the house of the man, the superior man, we all got certain things in us. Every man got that lover in him. Every man got that protector in him. Every man got that thinker in him. Every man got that cold-blooded, ice-cold killer in him. Whatever he got to do. You know? We got it all in us. Don't suppress it all. And that's what every man should be working towards. That's what I talk about in my books. Other guys have talked about it. And it should, honestly. It should be a normal part of the culture. It should actually get to the point that we teaching our teenage boys this stuff. Because that's one thing. Shoot, I got sons who could probably hack y'all computers. <laughs> yeah, they in the gym with me like twice a week. And we about to go harder this summer. So, I mean, who says you can't be both? Who says you can't be multifaceted? Who says you can't be thorough? All right? I want y'all to think about that. Being the best version, being thorough. Being look, but in fact, you shouldn't even have to say anything. If you get to that level, people should look at you and say, damn, that motherfucker thorough. You should be so thorough. It's just, it just come out in your walk, how you carry yourself. And that's where you gotta go. All right. So anyway, that's all I got for today. And I, like I said, that's my that's what I'm about. And I want to make that abundantly clear, all right? I want to make that abundantly clear. And that's where every man should be working towards being the best version of yourself. You know what? So what? You might, you know what? You check out comic books? Fine. Go to that jaw too? Fine. Hey, that woman, like, 
sing oh, floating on cloud nine singing a song, then getting up and making you some food. Fine. You know? And then while she floating and stuff, you go and write a computer program. Hey, you can be both. Every man should strive towards that. Be that thorough dude, all right? That's all I got for today. Peace and blessings.